Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1. I love this game, and most of you love this game. What would happen if a Sony executive decided to walk in my office and take this from my gaming library? Well, that's exactly what Ubisoft has done with the game The Crew. This is the same Ubisoft that made the statement right here saying that one of the things we saw is that gamers are used to a little bit like DVD having and owning their games. That's the consumer shift that needs to happen. They got comfortable not owning their CD collection or DVD collection. That's a transformation that's been a bit slower to happen. As gamers grow comfortable in that aspect, you don't lose your progress. If you resume your game at another time, your progress progress file is still there. That's not been deleted. You don't lose what you've built in the game or your engagement with the game. So it's about feeling comfortable with not owning your game. <laughs> That was a statement back in January from an Ubisoft executive saying gamers need to get comfortable with not owning their games for subscriptions to take off. Well, fast forward to now, and you have fans are incredibly unhappy with Ubisoft revoking licenses and game files for the crew following server shutdown. They are wiping this game out of people's libraries. Game that, a game that you paid for, a game that you put time and effort and energy into, a game that you own. They are taking it from your library, just like they would by walking in your office and taking Metal Gear Solid from you. This is not trick, it's true power. Or taking Soul Calibur from you, taking a classic game that you love and eliminating it from existence. This is theft and they're getting away with it. And Ubisoft is facing widespread criticism across the board, and rightfully so. And that brings us to Star Wars Outlaws. Oh yes, Star Wars Outlaws, which is facing mass downvotes across YouTube. Star Wars Outlaws, the social justice propaganda game, Star Wars Outlaws. And now, of course, you have these pricing tiers that are absolutely ridiculous for Star Wars Outlaws. The Standard Edition, $70. The Gold Edition, which gives you three days early access and a season pass for $109. But the Ultimate Edition, ladies and gentlemen, gives you three more options. That's right. A couple of bundles, an art book, Oh, wow, we should be so lucky to have you, Ubisoft, just giving us such amazing content. But there was a lot of backlash surrounding this decision, so Ubisoft had to respond to it. I'm stupid, you're smart. Ubisoft responds as Star Wars Outlaws comes under fire for Jabba the Hutt Season Pass exclusive. It's just one Jabba mission among many. Star Wars Outlaws prompted a collective sigh last week when it was revealed that the single-player open-world adventure will have a season pass in addition to the nowadays common play the game early incentive attached to pricey special editions for an extra $40 with the gold edition for a total of $110. The season pass gets you two post launch expansions, some cosmetics and an exclusive day one mission called Jabba's Gambit. The latter bogus triggered widespread fuming as it was possible to jump to the conclusion based on on some perhaps ambiguous wording that the mission was the one and only Jabba the Hutt mission in the game. Look at the headlines after all. And there's some of the headlines right there. But it's definitely not the only Jabba mission the ga in the game, according to Ubisoft. To clarify, Jabba the Hutt and the Hutt Cartel are one of the main syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws and will be part of the experience for everyone who purchased the game, regardless of edition. A Ubisoft rep told us, The Jabba's Gambit mission is an optional additional mission with the Hutt Cartel, along with Kay and Nix's journey across the Outer Rim. This mission will be available to those who purchased the season pass or an edition of the game which includes the season pass. Yes, yes. <laughs> it still sucks to gate launch content behind season passes and pre-order incentives, but rest assured your appetite for Hut will still go sated in Star Wars Outlaw whether you pay out big or not. <laughs>
and just quietly. I understand the principle of the thing, but how many people play every single piece of side content in an Ubisoft game? That's not the point. They clearly see some level of value into this. That's why they are adding it for more of a cost. And this is what gamers are sick and tired of. We are sick and tired of shit like this. And Ubisoft has earned a terrible reputation and rightfully so. This whole situation, whether it's bigger streamers, whether it's non-streamers, just gamers in general, Ubisoft is earning more hate than almost any company. They are getting to the point of levels of EA hate. That's how bad things are getting for them right now. And again, when you bring this nonsensical price tier up one more time, standard edition gets you the base game and the Kessel Run bonus pack. And then you go on to the gold edition and the ultimate edition. But ultimately, it's all about those Ubisoft subscriptions. That's what they are really looking for. They want you to be locked into this subscription. That's what this is all about. And as I said on Geeks and Gamers Daily earlier, if that's what you're looking to do, maybe offer a game that looks good. Maybe offer a game that people are interested in. But even with all the bullshit, people are just not interested in Star Wars Outlaws. This does not look good. This does not look like something people are going to be interested in at all. This looks like more DEI bullshit coming from Lucasfilm and Ubisoft. That's what it looks like. So this is not going to help push subscriptions. At the end of the day, if you make a good product, if you make an interesting product, if you make a product that gamers are wanting to play then they will buy your game they will pay money and if it means that using a subscription to pay lesser for that product because you're giving them more products in the future that's the way it's done give people an incentive to spend their money with good products that's all people are asking for Woo! I like this. we're not asking for rocket science here we're just asking for good products good games with interesting characters and interesting gameplay and interesting storylines that's it but they don't care about that no no you're still holding on let go this is about nickel and diming every single person out there all through the process all while giving you a shitty product that is what it's about ubisoft continues to land under fire all over the internet from gamers all over the place are there any defenders of ubisoft at this point in time I don't think so. I think they are arguably the most hated gaming company right now, and that speaks volumes because there's a lot of people that hate a lot of gaming companies, but they seem to be taking the top of the food chain right now. Time will tell. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later. Ha, ha, ha.